It's a 1930s home and I loved the character. And when I saw the house, I said, okay, this has tons of potential. It's the right location, but it needed a lot of work. I think I'd never decorated a forever home. I've always done spaces that were more transitional for clients, but this is a forever house. So I went for it because I believe in doing it right and doing it once. Because it was 1930s, red brick, sort of Georgian influenced, I decided to run with that. And I knew I wanted that classical envelope in the architecture, but it took a long time to get there. <laughs> Me being Jessica Claire Interiors, it's all about glam, but livable glam. So I wanted it to be comfortable and elegant, sophisticated, but it's also a family home, so it had to be functional as well. I really started with black, white, and gold. I love the warm metals, but with kids, you really need color. It can't just be stark black and white. So I started with my bold blue sectional. I pulled out the red from the wolf knobs in the kitchen as an accent, and I went for it with this bold chintz that ties everything together. I'm very lucky my husband knows that this is what I do for a living, so he did give me a lot of creative rain, but he did insist on a comfortable couch. So our sectional is literally like a hug. It's down-filled, it's really mushy, but it still has brass nail heads, so it's very glam. I think he was a little intrigued when I decided to paint our upstairs den mint. <laughs> it's not a typical color palette, but I think by using a dark charcoal sofa, it's still have purple in there, and it's a little girly, but by making the other pieces black and white, I think it grounds it, and I think in the end it came together. He's still comfortable there. <laughs> I'd say my favorite room is the living room because it's just me in a nutshell. It has black and white stripes, it has animal print, a bit of antique elements, vintage sconces, heirlooms I inherited from my grandmother's I recovered. It's pretty, but it's also eclectic and collected, so I like that it really shows my personality. The biggest piece that was top of mind is my settee. I found it on Craigslist and had it refinished into the gold and recovered in this gorgeous striped silk. So I knew I needed a spot for this show piece and I think the whole room came together around it. I'm really happy with how it looks. I think you see fads going in and out and when I look into a house that was done with a specific chair paired with a specific table, I know when it was put together and I did not want my house to be like that. So I really was inspired by the timeless elements, but then I was really, really inspired by, of course, you know, that Hollywood glam look, the 50s and Dorothy Draper and the idea of going for it and being bold in Hollywood Regency, you could say. As a decorator and designer, I love that I get to surround myself with pattern and color and texture. It literally is a visual feast every day when I go into designer's walk and pull fabrics, but when I'm putting together a room and a palette, it's just like, oh, art. This place definitely is the house of my dreams. Every finish was poured over and hand selected and all the drawing at night. It was such a labor of love to get this place together and I'm so happy to get to be here with my family forever.